Hello. Check. Classic. Gotta do that every time. What's up, guys? Oh my god, that took so much energy. I got my second dose of my vaccine yesterday. It didn't hit me as bad as I thought. Everybody in my surroundings was like, oh, it feels like death. Oh, you're gonna die. It feels like the worst thing ever. And I'm like, I think I got lucky, to be honest. There are side effects, but they're not that bad. Yay! Vaccinations! Today's DIY is one that you're already looking at the title and you're like, wow, Dan is so behind the times. I know. For so long, I've joked about uh, everyone's always DMing me, asking me to make an Among Us art piece or whatever. So I finally did it, okay? So I don't want to hear anything of like, do an Among Us character. I'm doing it now. Today, the plan is I'm going to make an Among Us character with a real candy heart on the inside of its body. Strap yourselves in, guys. We got another art video coming at you. Also, I'm giving away the Among Us characters. I'm not keeping them. So if you guys want to know, wait for the end of the video i'll have all the details there on how you could win these so enjoy so today's diy starts in the classic chidu box program which is the 3d software loaded in some among us characters and today i'm going to print out three different variants there's like a thin one one with a two-piece visor and then one that's a little bit thicker we hit slice and it's estimating to be just over three hours to print these so in the world of 3d printing this is super fast saved it to a usb stick loaded it up on the printer checked the preview to make sure it was a file we wanted and then hit print about three and a half hours later our pieces were done and they worked out perfectly. Now the color here does not matter at all because we're just gonna be molding these in silicone and then we can make them any color we want. Removed our build plate and let any remaining UV resin drip off and it was time to remove it. Get ready for a satisfying sound. Once all the pieces were off our build plate, it was time to give it the, you guessed it, an isopropyl alcohol bath. <laughs> this is gonna get off any uncured UV resin. After four minutes in the ultrasonic cleaner, it was time to wipe these down. I dried up any remaining isopropyl alcohol from our pieces. And so far, so good. Although you'll notice that these have a very matte finish, which is what we're gonna deal with in a little bit. First, we need to post cure this under a black light for about two minutes. Now, after doing all of these resin DIYs, I've learned two minutes is the magic number. Any longer than that, it'll actually be overexposed and it starts to turn white. And when it's not enough, it actually won't really do anything. So two minutes, go in, flip them, and then do another two minutes under the UV light. And then it's perfect. But again, you'll see it's got a matte finish. I wanna make this as glossy as possible and I'm gonna tell you why. Today we're gonna to use this triple thick gloss glaze. Now this is the spray form and this is perfect for this. Because these pieces don't have a lot of fine detail, this is gonna work great. A few coats, you can already see how shiny and glossy it is. Next, it was time to make our mold casing. Now I'm gonna show you guys a different technique. We're gonna use foam core as the bottom. However, you can use other things like a toilet paper roll if your piece will fit in. Thankfully, this was perfect. You can see that none of the walls are touching our piece, so that's gonna hold the silicone perfect. So we loaded in some glue sticks and we glued the bottom feet of our Among Us characters to the foam core. This is to prevent it from floating up and having silicone completely encase our piece. Now at this point, I decided only to do the two, the thick and then the normal one. The one with the visor actually required a little bit too much work and I figured if I wanted to have a different colored visor, I could just paint it. We glued down all the cracks and for this, it was just the bottom of our toilet paper roll. We didn't have to worry about the sides or anything like that. And we did it for both of our pieces. Once the glue dried, it was time for the silicone. Now, if you've seen some of my videos, I often use this type. This is Moldstar 16 Fast. Now there's also slow, but fast will cure in 30 minutes. Slow will take four hours. So it's a pretty big difference in terms of if you wanna get the DIY done in one day, I suggest fast. However, there's a lot less room for error if you're going with a 30 minute cure time. We mixed in one for one of part A and part B, and then we stirred it until it was one consistent color. Then it was time to pour. When working with silicone, it's important you do a thin stream in one spot. That way the silicone will slowly start from the bottom and work its way up to cover your piece, removing any potential for air bubbles or blemishes. And 
I totally over poured my silicone, but I want to show you guys something. Silicone is actually the best to work with because it's so clean. Now let's say I spilled it like I did here on the counter. Well, instead of cleaning it up now and spreading all this silicone around, it's best you leave the spill for the cure time and clean it up after. Now, since I've got so much extra silicone and it is expensive, I don't want to waste this. So I'm just going to mold something else I have lying around my house. In this case, this crystal. So I glued it to the bottom of this plastic cup and then I poured in the remaining silicone to just cover the top of our crystal. This is not the art piece for today's video. This is just sort of an extra that if you over pour resin or silicone, don't let it go to waste. This stuff is expensive. Next, it was time for the candy hearts. Now I asked on Instagram where I can get these and a lot of you guys said they stopped making them. Got these from Amazon. This was $50 for the bag and I was heavily disappointed because half of them had this new age slang. I am shocked at the effort that has gone into these, okay? Majority of them are like this, where the message isn't even on the heart. Like, text me, but check this out. There's one in here that says goat. They've definitely like revamped this for nowadays, but like imagine back in the day, you got a heart that said goat. That would be heartbreaking. I'd be like, why are you calling me a goat? Like totes? When the hell did it ever say totes? This would've been a great one, miss you, but it's like not even written on the heart. It's like they didn't even try. They gotta calibrate their machine or something. Miss you. Love you, there's a good one. What does this mean? What does L-Y-M-Y mean? LOL, like imagine getting this, just says LOL. It's like, you thought I liked you? <laughs> Even though I was disappointed, it was important that I pushed through and I found ones that would work. And what I mean by that is none of this cringe slang like gas or goals. Okay, back to our dried silicone. Now I smeared it around just to make it more of like a spill. And I know what you're thinking, this looks like such a mess. But once it's dried, it peels up in one go and clears whatever's underneath it. Okay, 30 minutes later, our two molds of our Among Us characters were done. It was time to remove them from our toilet paper rolls. Now, I always forget to use mold release when I do these. I don't know why, but you can see how annoying it is to pick paper off of silicone. But I do it every time, I don't know why. I have a whole can of mold release and it goes a long way. And here we have our crystal mold, which worked out great as well. Now the next step is to get our character out. Now you'll notice we can't actually pull it out because it has the, the gap between its legs. So we're gonna actually need to clip that. And you'll see now we've got a clear exit for our piece to come out. Don't worry, I didn't ruin the mold because that'll actually go right back to where it was. Once we popped them out, we had these beautiful finished silicone molds. It sort of looked like pig noses. Now it's time for the resin. Today we're using art resin. In fact, most of my DIYs, I use art resin. They're great. Poured in part A, which is hardener, and poured in part B, which is resin. One for one mix, mix them together for a solid two minutes. Now for this piece, I want it to be as crystal clear resin as possible. I want this to look sort of like a diamond or a crystal itself. And since we're not using any dyes, we're gonna use the vacuum chamber. This is the same thing that I use as the post-curing blacklight chamber. It's this giant pot, and no, it's not a cooking pot, but it looks like one. <laughs> you pop in your resin, you put on the lid, and you turn on the vacuum. And what it's gonna look like is sort of it rising and bubbling. What we're doing right now is sucking out all of the air inside of that resin and expanding the inner bubbles that we can't actually see. So it's gonna rise up, look like it's boiling water. The bubbles are gonna expand, they're gonna pop themselves, and it looks like I'm letting air back in, but once it starts to sink back down like it is here, it's a good indicator that most of the bubbles and air inside of your resin is gone. We poured about three quarters of the way full of resin, and these are the perfect molds. Because we have two holes, we pour resin in one and the air will come out of the other, which is even better for getting crystal clear resin. And then for added measure, I hit it with a barbecue lighter and this pops the surface level bubbles. I'm gonna replay this, you can see it right there. There, see them? And then there. It's just a quick blast and it just pops the bubbles right on the surface. Next, it was time to figure out how we we're gonna submerge these candy hearts in these molds. So step one, I tried to tape it to a Q-tip and just sort of plop it in. Unfortunately, it came off and started to sink. From working with a lot of food and resin, most things will sink in resin. I didn't want that, so I had to remove it with some tweezers and go to plan B. 
While I was thinking of a plan B, we went over to the crystal mold. Now, because I over poured such a high amount of resin, I popped in some red dye and used the remaining resin for our crystal mold. Topped it up with red resin, and we're gonna leave that now until it's ready to be demolded. Now back to our Among Us molds, I left these for two hours to let the resin cure a bit. So now it was like a bubblegum, heavy syrup texture, and I thought maybe it would stay. I'm not sure if you can see this, but they're both standing up. That one's upright, that one's upright. We're gonna keep checking on them to make sure they don't fall forward. We need them to stay up like this. So I had to MacGyver something that would actually hold the heart in place. So I used these Q-tips, removed all of the fuzz or fur from the end. And then we made sort of this T-shape with the two Q-tips and we were gonna then glue the heart to one side. I know that the goal is to have the heart suspended. I just need to figure out a way to do it. So look at this. So the top Q-tip should actually sit on the top of the mold and then it'll actually suspend the heart perfectly in place. That's the idea. So we loaded in the heart hanger <laughs> and then filled enough resin just to go to the tip top of the heart. We don't want any of the Q-tips to be submerged or it'll get stuck in the resin. Next, we're gonna leave this for about three to four hours. Honestly, about four hours later and before I went to bed, I went back to the molds, gently removed the Q-tips from the hearts, and you can see they stayed in place perfect. Made a third batch of resin and then topped up the remaining portion of our Among Us character. We're now gonna leave these overnight to cure and then check them out in the morning. 12 hours later, it was time to demold our pieces. We're gonna start with the crystal. I have no idea how this is gonna look. And guys, I'm gonna do a totally separate video on this because this is amazing. Silicone has gotta be one of my favorite things because it is so detailed. This is our crystal mold made of resin. And what's great is now that I've got the mold, I can make any color of this crystal. And look at how identical these two pieces are. Even the little rough parts of the stone is translated over to our resin copy. It was still a little bit soft because we didn't give it enough time to fully, fully cure, just enough to stay in contact. Popped it out and boom, the heart hanger worked perfect. Now we've got this cute ass diamond looking Among Us character. It feels like a diamond. It's super clear too, no bubbles in there. See how the second one turned out? Perfect, look at that. This one had one bubble in the front, which annoyed the hell out of me. Bottom one says, love you, and the top one says, let's hang, I believe. We made these crystal looking Among Us character with these super charming little candy hearts submerged in the inside. Now, if I never sprayed that triple thick gloss glaze on this, this wouldn't be clear, it would actually be foggy because silicone takes on the finish of the piece that it's molding. So if it's a matte finish piece, the mold is actually gonna then be matte finish as well. There they are in all their glory. Like, so clean. I wonder how it looks like. Let me see how it looks on camera. They look cool. Kind of just like an ice cube. This one's a Let's Hang, and this is the Love You. I'm giving away both of these to two separate winners worldwide, wherever you are in the world. <laughs> That's same shit. <laughs> one each. If you guys are interested in winning them, go over to my Instagram, follow me there, at Danocracy. And um, it's not my traditional art, so I don't really want to post about it, but I'm going to. So I'll have a picture of this over my Instagram. Under that photo, comment, uh, comment Zaddy. <laughs> comment Zaddy is sus. Zaddy is sus. And that's your entry. I'll go through there randomly, find two winners. I'll check to make sure you're following me. There it is, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know this one isn't like an inspiring one, like my last art piece. I believe my next one is going to be. Please, guys, make sure you give this video a like. It actually does help. I didn't think it did. But seeing how my last video performed, it's, it actually does help. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when I have a new video going up. I hate doing that speech. I hate it, but it's like it's so necessary. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next art video. See you guys later.